Hi, I'm Paul Bryan at the GE Customer Technical Education Center here in Cincinnati, Ohio. And on this CFM Maintenance Minute, we're going to be taking a look at the removal and installation of an oil scavenge filter. All right, I got a different view here so we can see this a little bit better. This is the uh, oil scavenge filter and uh, this is the filter bowl. We want to remove this filter, probably because we've had some type of a delta trip indication in the flight deck of impending bypass. We need to do our inspections. This uh, filter bowl installed onto the head assembly is secured in place all right, with an anti-rotation device, which you see right here. Before removing or breaking torque on this filter bowl, ensure that you disengage this all right, and keep it disengaged for the entire removal process so you do not damage it. If the filter bowl is a little bit tight, and I suspect it will be, you can go ahead and uh, take, uh, I'm using the handle of a screwdriver. On the lugs on the bottom of the filter bowl, I'm going to uh, hold open the anti-rotation device and simply break torque on the bowl assembly. Once that's done, the bowl assembly is sufficiently loose. I'll continue to hold the anti-rotation device open and remove the entire bowl assembly with my hand. Once that's off, we'll go ahead and grab the filter, pull it out of the head assembly, and prepare for my inspections. All right, so once we remove the filter, as required per the aircraft maintenance manual, we're gonna wanna do a complete inspection of the oil filter, examining between all the pleats for any type of material uh, that may cause a problem. This is typically uh, removed and replaced. As it is replaced, always validate uh, that any packing material, in this case an O-ring, is installed before reinstallation into the motor. The filter cartridge bolt assembly, aircraft maintenance manual wants you to remove all the lubrication from the threads of the bowl, removal and replacement of the oil filter packing, which has already been done, and then full inspection of these threads and the seating surfaces here and here. I want to verify that I don't have any damage to these bowl threads whatsoever. I also don't have any damage to the seating surface right here of this bowl assembly. If there is damage to those uh, items on this bowl, when you reinstall it, it is possible that the bowl assembly could become seized onto the head. So we'll just make sure everything's nice and clean. And then we'll go ahead and re-lubricate with the approved lubricant. And we're also going to validate that we don't have any lubricant on the top of the bowl that could enter the filter area, potentially cause a problem. And we're ready for reinstallation. I'm now ready to resecure the filter and the uh, bowl assembly under the filter head. I'll take my metal cartridge filter, reinstall it. I'm going to take my bowl assembly, line up the threads, and following the aircraft maintenance manual procedures for this specific model and design, reinstall this filter and bowl hand tight only. Now I am going to pay attention to this locking paw and verify that it is properly seated in the teeth of the filter bowl. 
It's not properly seated. Uh, it's not properly secure. There we go. That's installed. That completes this CFM maintenance minute on the removal and installation of the scavenge oil filter. For all you do every day, thank you.